Are you serious? I love just having coffee with you in the morning, getting started. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I get letters from people, emails all the time, people saying, Pastor Begley, I literally can't wait. I can't start my day without sitting down at the computer and, and watching your YouTube videos every morning, having a cup of coffee with you, getting my Bible out, learning something about Bible prophecy as I catch up with the current world news events and how it relates to the Word of God. Well, I enjoy it with you as well. And let me just say something right now. This story I'm going to share with you is stunning and very disturbing. It's out of Pakistan, but it could affect the world. I want to thank Raheem Raphael for getting this to me, as well as Rosemary and Gary Ritchie. And that is, there's a deadly brain-eating microbe, and it's an outbreak in Pakistan. It just happened. Pakistan uh, has a problem, folks. They have an outbreak of a brain-eating an aniba. Now, this microbe, this, uh, this brain-eating, eats the brain. Uh, it's deadly, and it's found in fresh water. It's a freshwater microbe. It kills 98% of those infected. Say this again with me. It will kill 98% of those that are affected. Uh, if you receive this infection from this micro uh, brain eating, it's just horrible. The source of the infection has yet to be identified. The aniba is transmitted from contaminated water through the nasal cavity and travels to the brain causing inflammation. Symptoms are initially mild, okay? In, which would include headaches, stiff neck, maybe a fever, and some stomach pain. It starts out mild. You think it's just a soup, uh, you know, some type of a flu symptom. You think you're just kind of getting ill. But within seven days, Death is likely. Now, the ongoing outbreak has claimed 10 lives, including two children. Uh, the three most recent deaths occurred last week. Some of the ca cases may not have been reported because in a, you know, in a, this city in Pakistan has 18 million people. All right? And a lot of people are not familiar with the disease, and so they got sick and died, and people have no idea what it was they died from. Um, but it's very, very... Look, this thing is scary, because it lives in the fresh water. They don't know what it is, and it goes and eats your brain. Um, three people who have died in September had not been in a swimming pool. They first thought maybe it was only in swimming pools, but no. Three people died, they weren't in the swimming pool, which means they died from drinking tap water. Now, if it's in the tap water, listen to me for a minute. We're not talking about stagnant water sitting over in some cesspool mentality where people get in and get, get around stuff that's really bad. We're not, we're not talking about just swimming pools where a lot of public bathing and somebody got infected and it's spreading. We're talking about tap water. We're talking about tap water. Are, are you serious? Are we talking about a wormwood? Now, I know what the Bible, I'm not saying this is wormwood. Because we know that there's a burning lamp that hits the earth. But folks, the Bible told us, though, that we would have famines and pestilence. In diver, and we'd have earthquakes in diverse places. We were prophesied to that we would have great diseases and death that would come upon the earth. This is very, very, very serious. We've got to watch this very closely because if this, if this infection, if this microbe, this brain-eating uh, infection is living in, this microbe is living right in the tap water in Pakistan, it will not be limited to Pakistan. The waters of the earth constantly flow. Okay, they constantly flow. This is a very, very, very dangerous situation. And I'd like for the body of Christ to go to the Lord in prayer on this.
uh, and I know what the Bible says in prophecy, that we would see events like this take place. But I'm asking God to help us with this, to, to help put the stop to this. It's sort of like the plague that hit the children of Israel, and Aaron ran out ahead of it, holding up the bloodstained banner, holding up a standard, holding up the word of God, preventing it with his staff, preventing the uh, plague to destroy the entire nation of Israel. And so we need to pray uh, that protection upon the, first of all, for the people that are in Pakistan, but also for the world. This is very concerning. We've got to keep an eye on it. And uh, we'll give you more updates about it as we go on. But again, I'm reporting to you today. This is being reported out of uh, several uh, news agencies now. The uh, deadly brain-eating microbe outbreak in Pakistan. I'll put a link. Russia, RussiaToday.com is covering it right here, but there's a lot of others now. It's spreading as the word is getting out that this is a very serious, because of its where it's at. It's not just in stagnant, stale, polluted waters. We're not talking about an overcrowded swimming pool. This was the first responses. We're fine. We're, now we know it's in the tap water in Pakistan. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in these last days. And we have to prepare ourselves for what's coming upon the earth. And, and the number one way to prepare yourself is to have Jesus Christ as your Savior. Have your soul right. Get your soul right. Get your life right with God. And the only way you can do that is through the blood of Jesus Christ. And I, so I pray for the people of Pakistan and for the people of the world. Come to Jesus Christ. Do it now. Time is running out. Do it now. In Jesus' name.